Have you ever wondered how some people manage to connect so well and those people are always looked up to? Yes, it is confidence. Whether it's a job interview or it's a presentation that you're doing or meeting someone for the first time. This video is so important because I'm going to share with you hands-on practical things that you can do that will help you develop your confidence day by day. Day. Hi, my name is Dr. Joe Isaac and I'm here to help you develop your confidence in any situation, the ultimate confidence. There are three things that we're going to be working with. Body language, voice and tonality, and also the specific words that you're going to be using in whatever situation that you're in. This is going to be a confidence series that will help you to develop that confidence day by day. So it's very important that you don't miss out on any part of the video and also all the upcoming videos. And, and, and most importantly, practice everything that we share over here because only the action is going to bring things into light. In this video, I'll be sharing with you my journey and how I developed my confidence from zero to a hero that I got featured by Google coming up. Hello and welcome back to your own new limitless world. And for those who are meeting me for the first time, I am Dr. Joe Isaac and I have been helping people develop their confidence and present all around the world for the last 16 years. If you want to know a little bit more about me, I'll put a bio in the video description below. You can check it out. On this channel, I'm very passionate about helping you bust through your obstacles using psychology and NLP and develop yourself to reach your goals. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and make sure that you've got the bell notification button on so you can always get notified when I post a new video. It is very important to handle the confidence bumps. Everybody born with a lot of confidence. Imagine yourself when you were young, you were running around, they tell you don't do this, you didn't care, you just jump on it. As you grow, you face the confidence bumps and then your confidence gets withdrawn away because you allowed that. Some of these confidence bumps are like you went into a relationship, it wasn't fantastic, the other party kept saying certain things that affected your confidence, and there you go, you lose some of that. You went to work, some people said some stuff, you let it go through, and you were affected. You went through different experiences that has taken that confidence away from you, and now you're struggling to get it back. You might not believe this, but I was actually one of the most hesitant people on planet Earth. In fact, I didn't have any confidence. I couldn't hold a conversation with two people, let alone three or four or thousands. So how did I actually break through to become the person I am today? So I purchased the book and I started reading the book. And in the statement that really captured my attention, it says, if you are reading this book because you have some time to kill, go ahead and place it in the next rubbish bin. But if you're reading, and you're willing to apply everything, continue on reading. And I thought to myself, oh my God, this is really serious. This guy is asking me to really commit to what I'm doing. And I thought to myself, I will commit if this book gives me exactly what I want. And I started reading the book from the beginning all the way to the end. And I even lost track of how I bought the book and who I kind of paid to all the way from reading the book until I arrived at home. One of the chapters that really captured my attention was how to smile. And at that time, I didn't really know how to smile. I was kind of geek nerd, whatever you want to call it. And in this book, it described exactly how I should smile. So it's not like one of those or... And I thought to myself, wow, this is amazing. As I was coming out, there was someone passing by on the other side of the street and I decided to apply the first thing that I applied from that book is I actually smile when I have eye contact with someone and see if they smile back. And I smiled and this person smiled back and I was like, oh my God, everything that I have read so far is working. And I decided to apply each and everything and that was the start. So step one for you, get that book and start reading this book with full intention to apply each and every thing in that book. How do people perceive your confidence? According to Dr. Albert Mehrabian's the 755 and 38 rule is how your confidence is perceived by others, whether it's body language or whether it's a voice and tonality, whether it's actually the specific words. But obviously looking at those percentages, 55% is body language. How you stand, your body communicates non-verbally to other people. The second thing is the tonality, the verbal. Let's say, if I say this statement, I really like what you have said. I really like what you have said. Now listen to it again. I really like what you have said. 
which one do you feel that has more impact, that has more connection with others? Obviously, it's the second one because I really worked on my tonality to present my confidence. The other part, which is the specific words, which is my weakness, because English is not my first language, but I always try my best. Number two, one of the things that I have learned in my journey is how to listen, actually listen not talk. The more you listen, the more you appear confident. And also, the more you learn a lot of things. It is important that you have to show that you're actively listening. How do you demonstrate that you're actively listening towards other people to exhibit confidence in the eye of the other person? By showing a very positive body language that demonstrates that, such as when you look at them, some people, when they are listening, they keep like nodding, 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 nodding all the time that makes you lose confidence and lose impact. But what you need to do is to align your nods with the statements that the other person is making. Say, for example, they are saying something like, and I went to here and this is what happened. And then they kind of pause. In that pause, that's when you go one nod firmly down like this. See, it's a firm nod, not nodding diarrhea all the time. You don't want to do that. In other parts of the conversation, to highlight that you are really engaging with that conversation is to actually lean a little bit forward to the person. So you give them a bit of a feel, something like this. Three, also maintaining eye contact as much as possible. Now, too much eye contact can be a little bit detrimental and also no eye contact at all can show that there is no attention. So you'd want to create a balance of eye contact and looking somewhere else, just like I'm doing with you. I look at you and I look away, I think about something, I come back. There is a balance of eye contact and then looking away. I can maintain looking into the camera all the time. That's not a problem. But this can be a little bit difficult for some cultures. Now, as far as the body language is concerned, how you present your body language to elicit the feeling of confidence, I want you to watch what I'm going to do and tell me how do you feel about each and every move. Now, if you see me and I come and meet you and I'm like this. Compare that to something like this. Or like this. To be a winner with the body language, and although the cultures do play a factor in how it's perceived, most important part is you try to use as much as neutral stance as much as possible, which means at least something that gets perceived neutral or positive. So one of the most important things that you could do is to have your arms by your side and kind of straight. You'll find yourself inclined to put your hands in your pocket, to turn around, to do any of these things. However, try to resist that as you practice it. Use your hands to gesticulate, to gesture to the people, to emphasize your point without having to tie them right next to you, just like a statue. Now, this is if you are standing. If you are sitting down, you will maintain the same open posture. Nothing is closed and gesture. Use your gestures to emphasize your point to the person that you're talking to. If you are doing these things all the time, it will actually become a habit. And once it locks in as a habit, then you don't have to think about it anymore. And the confidence will be perceived through that 55% how your body delivers that message to someone. Now let's tackle the tonality, the tonality. Your voice tone is completely a powerful tool that a lot of people ignore, even though it's free to use. You would want to ensure that you're not always on the same pitch. So it's not always low and it's not always high. You got to make sure that you insinuate your tonality to emphasize the meaning to deliver that confidence. Back to the statement, I really like what you have done. I really like what you have done. Both are wrong. I really like what you've done. You can see mellowing the voice tone to emphasize keywords will make that difference in the way you present yourself and in the way people perceive you as confident. Another powerful tool that you can have is to learn the power of... Did you guess it? The power of pause. I always say use that technique to help you overcome your fillers in any conversation you're having.
whether it's a presentation or an interview, whatever. So all these fillers such as um, uh, etc. How do you avoid that? Number one tactic I always tell the people to practice is to practice the PTT. Pause, think, talk. Pause, think, talk. Now you don't want to pause and then go for half an hour, come back after coffee. You'd want to have short pauses, catch your breath, Think about the next statement and then say it. What did I want to say? Pause. Yes. So as we go through here, bam, just exactly like this. And if you train yourself, the more you practice this part, it's not going to come out as best from the very first shot. But as you go through, this will actually work wonders in the way you are perceived as confident. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the practical tips that I have shared. The next video will be about certain context, let's say presentation, how to present better, whether it's for work or whether it's for school. So if you're not subscribed just yet, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. And thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one.